Good evening, everybody. How is everybody doing on this Thursday evening, the 19th of January, 2023? Hope everybody's doing well. This is Doc from the Modern Boomer and ED Doc Gamer on YouTube. And today we're going to be looking at Colossal Cave 3D Adventure or Colossal Cave Reimagined by Roberta Williams. Roberta Williams is a gaming icon. And if you don't know her, you should all be ashamed of yourself. Now, it's not anybody's fault. She's been out of the business for a while. Her and Ken Williams pioneered Sierra Games back in the 80s and into the 90s. Maybe even a little bit longer than that. But they were the driving force of what got me into gaming. King's Quest, Police Quest, Heroes Quest, The Colonel's Bequest, Phantasmagoria, and even produced Half-Life before Valve was fully in full force. Believe it or not. And uh, I remember back in the day... My uncle put in a couple of uh, five and a quarter inch floppies. This is before three and a half inch floppies. Said King's Quest 2. And I followed King Graham through all these different adventures. Just a completely fantastic experience. It is the backbone by which all modern adventure games are built on today. So... That is the truth. That is what it is. And today, uh, they came back, or not yet today, yesterday, they released um, a game called uh, Colossal Cave, which was originally a text-based game. And that game, um, that game was originally a text game. If you go on Colossal Cave's website, I assume they still have the text game version up for you to play. But uh, this is a graphical representation of that game because it was one of the first games that Roberta Williams played that got her started into gaming just as King's Quest II got me into gaming. Definitely cool. Definitely worth checking out. Um, I'm recording some of this because I'm going to do a review of the game on YouTube. But I figured, hey, why not stream it? And uh, I recommend everybody buy it if you like these kind of games. And uh, you like uh, puzzlers. This has a little bit of a feel of Mist back in the day. And, you know, it's just one of these graphical puzzle games. It's not an FPS. It's not an RTS. It's not a Dota. It's, it's a puzzle. And uh, it's inventory management, solving puzzles, and exploration. And uh, it's challenging. It's challenging. This is back when games were challenging and not just pretty. Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Pitfall on Atari, whatever. So I definitely suggest you check this out. We're going to pull into the game now. Uh, I'm actually 
already playing it and into it. So we'll bring it in right now. Put the camera on. Here we are. So we are at the top of a beanstalk going into a tunnel. Tab gives you the inventory. There are some magic words that you can use in this game that sometimes could help you move from place to place. You have eight inventory. Well, you actually have seven inventory slots. This is the map. Uh, map can be accessed with M as well. And tab gives you your inventory. I have on me now some keys, some meat, a lamp that can, thank God, show me where I'm going. And uh, a bottle of oil, which I think I need nowhere to need that, where to use it. Black rod. There's a black rod, which is a magic wand. I'm not 100% sure what to do with that yet. <clears throat> and an dwarves axe, which axe. I've fought multitudes of dwarves with. And uh, one, luckily. So games like this, save often. Because if you die, you make the wrong move. You don't want to start the whole game all over again. I think, oh, I think that I go into this cavern where a giant lives. We'll see. <laughs> giant should knock. The smell from that cauldron sickens you. There's the door. It says the door is too hard to open. So I'm wondering if my bottle of oil that I just picked up... The door is extremely rusty and refuses to open. <clears throat> wonder if some oil might help that out. This may be wrong. The oil has freed up the hinges so oh. that the door will now open. Will I die? The way north leads through a massive iron door. That's a splendid waterfall, but be careful around it. I may not even be able to go anywhere here. There is a dangerous whirlpool here. Watch your step. Hmm. Oh, there's a bridge. Stupid me. <clears throat> All right. You're in a magnificent cavern. There is a rushing stream that cascades as a sparkling waterfall into a roaring whirlpool, which drains <coughs> through a hole in the floor. Now, I'm going to assume I don't want to go into the whirlpool. So your whole object here is to try to get, a, like, get treasure and bring the treasure back to the starting point of the game. There's 350 points. Ooh. Maximum that you can get. You see a steep slope. It looks like you can slide down it. You're at the top of a steep incline above a large room. You could climb down here, but would not be able to climb back up. Yeah. Ah, screw it. Let's go. And you're eaten. That's an enormous rib cage. What it's being used for, I can't imagine. Okay, it looks like there's two. Okay, that's where I came from. There's a couple, couple exits in this room. Let's go behind, behind the skeleton. Can't go anywhere. You're at a dead end. A dead end. Dead ends are good because it's less places that I have to go. Oh. 
I've been here. Oh, come on. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You stumble around in the dark and seem to have returned where you started. Not good. Completely back where I came from. Nope. Don't want to go that way. One thing that I guess, I mean, this is kind of true to the text-based game, I bet. Um, I didn't play the whole text-based game. Ah, back. But sometimes you would go into a hole and it would basically say that you just kind of walked around a bunch and you came back out where you were initially. That basically... Hmm. So there's a treasure in here. You see a gong, an instrument for meditative journeys. Yes. I will take this. To troll, that's not good. To two pit. Are we higher up? You are following a wide path around the outer edge of a large cavern. Far below, through a heavy white mist, strange splashing noises can be heard. The mist. You're in a misty cavern. The path exits to the south and west. So this game is long. It seems like it's a long game. I've been playing it for a couple of hours, and the best I got is 93 points so far. Something's going to a threatening dwarf. Scare the a crap out of me. Is thrown. Do not kill me! It missed. Missed again. Dwarf's axe. I vanquished a little dwarf. <clears throat> It's too tight. You best drop something. Oh, really? Really? Bing. Empty bottle. Black rock. Empty bottle. Empty bottle. Let me guess. Bing vase. Dropping things you're carrying requires a nice, wide, flat place to put them. Bing vase. Dropping things you're carrying requires a nice, wide, flat place to put them. That Bing looks vase. flat to me. The Bing vase drops <coughs> with a delicate crash. The, flo the floor is lit. You could never put them together again. You could never put them together again. The oh. You, are in an you could never put them together again. So I can't get those points now. And I dropped the thing for nothing. The floor is littered with worthless shards of pottery. Yeah. All right. Thank you for reminding me to drop something and then... You are in an alcove. That is... There's no use for that here. I lost the treasure because of your hints, narrator. <clears throat> Not appropriate. Maybe I have to keep just dropping things.
You hint? cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an item that you're carrying. You'd best take inventory and drop something. Dwarf's axe. You cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an item that you're carrying. You'd best take inventory. Tasty food. You cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an item. Brass lantern. It better not be this. You cannot fit through this. You cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an item that you're carrying. You'd best take inventory and drop something. Set of black black rod. You cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an item. Empty bottle. All right, here you go. Brass Drop, drop on everything. Set of keys. Keep in this. You cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an item that you're carrying. Dwar dwarf's axe. That won't work here. Brass lantern. It's very narrow, but try it. You may be able to squeeze through. I have a feeling you'll be able to get any of that crap back. That's cool. It's very narrow, but try it. You may be able to squeeze through. It is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will most likely fall into a pit. Well, no, I can't get back through here, right? You cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an item that you're carrying. You'd best take inventory. There are some keys on the... A three-foot black rod with a rusty star on it and lies near... You could never put them together again. You could never put them together again. Grr. How unfortunate. <clears throat> Could I go through here? What will come get me next? Oh, wait. I went through there. Okay. Let's go back. Go through the other door. Oh, we're back here. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, I grabbed this thing, and I think that the pirate took it off me. So I better go east into the Swiss cheese room. Oh, maybe I didn't have enough room. Sorry. Sorry. You will need to drop something before you can... Tasty black egg-sized emerald. Dwar 
Set of keys. Brass lantern. Black empty bottle. Okay. Okay. Northeast is <clears throat> that the way back? Very complicated. I can't imagine doing this to text. This has got to be brutal to do in text. Like literally brutal. I'm going to go see if I can get the magazine. <clears throat> I would like to bring it back. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Black rod. Dwarf. Black rod. Go up the ladder. Okay. There is a threatening dwarf. Don't you kill a me! Sharp knife is thrown. It missed. Dwarf's axe. They're a lot you have more. Vanquished a little dwarf. They're a lot more deadly in the uh, tech game. All right, I have to go up. <laughs> okay. And I want to go east. Because we're going to go back and try to drop off some of this stuff. So this game is like a very good representation of what like classic gaming used to be. I mean, it's just, it is, it's trial, error, practice, and, uh, frequent bouts of, of, uh, Failure, followed by occasional bounce of glorious uh, success. And that's uh, the way these games were made. Blue. Yes, I know. Plue. Plue. Plu. You feel a strange pulling sensation. I think Plue is going to bring me back. You're back in the well house. Ah, that's where I wanted to be. So, so far I got the rock, the gold, I got jewelry and chalices, I've got silver coins. And now I have... I'm afraid the magazine is written in Dwarvish. Yeah. Spelunker today. Velvet pillow. Egg sized emerald. Take brass lantern. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six different. Um, six different treasures so far. Zizzy. Zizzy. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Zizzy's going to bring me back to... I don't think Plu will bring you back. You find yourself in the debris room. 
It's basically fast travel. So this game is out for VR. It's going to be coming out for, I think it's out for PlayStation, Switch, Mac. Basically out for everything. And it's, uh, it's not your typical gaming game. And that's okay. And not everything has to be. I mean, if you can play Power Wash Simulator, you can play Colossal Cave. If you can play Job Simulator or any of those other kind of games, you can play Colossal Cave. Not saying that this game is like that, but you know, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of games that some are really good, some not so much. But different things, you know, different strokes for different folks. <clears throat> I got all the treasure from here. But then going, we're back to this area. A creepy noise. Ah, I know what this is. This is, this is a big mirror. This is me. The shadowy figure seems to be trying to attract your attention. I found this room where there was a big hanging mirror with a window on each side. This is actually you in the mirror. Because this is the lamp. That's the lamp. I see what you're doing there. Blue. Yes, blue. Where does this go? Okay. Maybe we should go get the the uh, sapphires or these blue blue diamonds. That means we'll have to go out the way we came and then south. I'm sorry, West. Maybe this West. The map is some, sometimes a little bit difficult to understand what's going on. That's not where I want to be. This goes to the... Yeah, this goes to the... Um, it goes to the dragon. And I can't get past the dragon. Is there another way out of here? I don't want to go that way. And it's not that way. Is there a way up? Oh, look at that. Paid no attention. Stupid. So I'm going to go west. I need to get more tre treasure. And then east. I 
And this is the other side of that cavern. There must be a way to cross this fissure. Did I go this way? That's just a crawl space, right? So that should go around in a circle. Let me back out over here. Yes. Kind of reminds me of Pitfall. If Pitfall were 3D. I have to go up. It says I just go east. Ah. Don't you be the pirate. <laughs> ah. I'll just take all this and hide it away with me chest deep in the maze. Unbelievable. Roberta, you certainly don't want to hold my hand through this. You're not making it easy on me. <clears throat> so... That being said, I guess we go down. Turn off the maze. Did I go to Secret Canyon? Hmm. <clears throat> I really don't want to do the wit's end. But I I seem to I feel that. feel that wit's end is uh you're on the brink of a clean climbable pit a crawl leads west all right i think i think that going to wit's end is the maze and that may be <clears throat> where i need to go but in the same respect i don't think it makes for good uh Streaming. You've crawled around in some okay. little holes and wound. You've crawled around in some little holes and. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back. At, you've crawled Why? around in some little holes and wound. You've crawled around in some little holes. Holes and wound up back in the main passage. That's great. I have to go east. Then go down. There's nothing to do with it here.
You are in an anteroom leading to a large passage to the east. Small passages go west and up. The remnants of recent digging are evident. You're in a passage. You're at wit's end. I think this is the maze. <laughs> You've crawled around in some little holes. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You need to be a little closer to climb that. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. I wonder if I can just keep going up. <clears throat> You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. In theory, if you keep going up, you shouldn't end up at the same floor you were on, right? You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Probably not doing anything. <clears throat> You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You're at wit's end. You're at wit's end. Is there anything that gives away the way? You've crawled around in some little holes. You've crawled around in some little holes. And You've crawled around in some little holes. You managed to escape wit's end. Great. <clears throat> Not helpful. Let's go west. Kind of running out of ideas. Pirate keeps taking my crap. You need to be a little closer to climb that. You see a sturdy ladder. South. You stumble around in the dark and seem to have returned where you started. This is a familiar thing. You stumble around in the dark and seem to have returned where you started. You stumble around in the dark, and seem to have returned where you started. Alright, so south doesn't want to let me in. West. You have crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. We went up there already. <clears throat> You're at the west end of a two-pit room. The floor here is littered with thin rock slabs, which make it easy to descend into the pits. There is a large hole above the pit at this end of the room. You're in a circular chamber whose floor is an immense slab fallen from the ceiling. I was up here already. Can't mess with the dragon.
Dragon says, nay, nay. scared me so here's that mirror right that's the mirror where we were looking through on each side <clears throat> see the same thing doesn't appear like there's anywhere else I can go here Be careful. You don't want to fall in here. I know. Brass lantern. That is you. There's nothing. I can't go any further that way. <clears throat> and I assume you can't go any further this way. Nothing more up here I can do. Oh, this is where I started with the stream. I think what's left. The passage here is blocked by a recent cave in. The passage here is blocked by a recent I cave. I think in. the only thing I can do now is get to that maze where the pirate is. You see a steep slope. It looks like you can slide down it. But you can't go back. Oh, I don't know where we're going here. You're on one side of a large, deep chasm. 
a white mist rises up from below to obscure much of the far side. A southwest path leads away from the chasm into a winding corridor. You're on one side of a large, deep chasm. Let's save this. Because I'm probably going to die here. A burly troll stands by the bridge and insists you throw him a treasure before you may cross. Oh, I don't have any treasures. The troll steps out from beneath the bridge and blocks your way. No one treads on my bridge without payment. Black Rod. Nothing happens. There's no use for that is useless right now. Black Rod. Set of keys. Burly troll stands by the bridge and insists you throw him a treasure before you may cross. Oh, and I have no treasure. That doesn't help me. I wonder if I could I wonder if I could go and get a treasure and then go back to the troll like pick up a treasure You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Try it. Oh, wait, maybe. Is there anything here I can grab? Maybe not. This is an old coral passage, it's now blocked by debris. You're in a shell room. I want to go up. There are cracks everywhere. 
but you may be able to slip through this one. Oh, really? You stumble around in the dark and seem to have returned and where you started. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> That's the one thing, and this is no fault of the game maker. I mean, because you're, you know, you're basically trying to be true to the original game. There are faint rustling noises from the darkness behind you. Great. Where am I going? East. Small pit. Been here though. Yep. Something gonna come out and kill me? go up yep so we'll try giving the troll a treasure we'll see what happens <clears throat> may literally change nothing This game is quite um, easy to make you. It, it, it's it's pretty easy for you to like lose your way. Clue, clue. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the well house. Let's give him that. Clue. Zizzy. Zizzy. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Or oh, last points. You find yourself in the debris room. By picking up the, uh... Picking up the, uh, treasure. Now, if I know games like this... <coughs> There's probably one particular game or one particular treasure they want. If anybody knows what treasure the troll or ogre wants, let me know. And oh, come on! You're gonna take the thing from me? I'll just take all this booty and hide it away with my chest deep in the maze. Well, now I don't know what to do. <clears throat> Anywhere I haven't been? If I go south there, it just keeps bringing me around. I can't take this because it's broken. Hmm. All right. Well, who the heck knows? <laughs> I'm not going to keep taking treasures just to have the freaking pirate take them all off me. Can't squeeze through here, right? 
Maybe you can <coughs> fit through this small crack. You find yourself in the Hall of Mists after squeezing through a tight crack. That's interesting. Interesting. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, how hey, you're in this other complete end of the map and you go through a crack and then you're just back somewhere else, but it made more sense when it was text. You're in a dirty, broken passage. To the east is a crawl. To the west is a large passage. Above, you see a hole to another passage. <sighs> I can't take that, right? You're in a pit by a str Nothing happens. Black Rod. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to need to think about it. I didn't go west here. You stumble around uh, in the dark and seem to have returned where you started. Not helpful. There's no use for that here. You yeah. stumble around in the dark and seem to have returned where you started. So not helpful. Maybe the answer's in the big quilt room. There's like six different places you can go. Up takes you, I don't know, why does up have no, huh, where does up go? You've crawled around it's absolutely nowhere. Little holes and wound up back in the main passage. And I assume if I keep going up. You've crawled around it's some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've yeah. crawled around it's some little holes. That doesn't do anything. <clears throat> um And wound up back in the main passage. South of Secret Canyon. You stumble around in the dark and seem to have returned where you started. You stumble around in the dark and seem to have returned where you started. You stumble around in the so You can't really go south. You can't really go up. Dark. You can go and east and to west. Have where you started.
Hmm. I'm in dead end, right? You're in a dead end. How would you go about carrying those huge bones? Ridiculous. That's an enormous ribcage. What it's being used for, I can't imagine. <clears throat> You're at the bottom of a steep incline. You can't climb up from here. Yeah, so I can't do this. What a frightening sight. A terrible place to fall. I like how there's a garbage can. <clears throat> You're on the southwest side of a chasm. So that was what I was going to use the treasure for. But the freaking pirate stole it. There was one other room that I was able to get to in here that didn't just shoot me out back to where I came from. You've crawled like around some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. How about if I go the other direction? You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. I assume I cannot keep going south. I want to go west. You have crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You have crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Interesting. Whew. Whoa. Poof. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Haven't been here. The canyon runs into a mass of boulders. Hmm. How do we get up? <clears throat> I could go this way though, right? The canyon here becomes too tight to go further south. Keep trying to jump.
<clears throat> Interesting room. Can't do anything with it. No treasure in here. The canyon Nothing? runs into a mass of boulders. How curious. Seems to be an ancient carving of a dragon. If I go back, will I get stuck or you've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the You've crawled around in some little hole. You've crawled around in some little hole. You've crawled around in some little <coughs> holes and wound up back in the main passage. All right, let me get my bottle back. Well, then maybe we'll call it quits. You're in a soft room. The walls are covered with heavy curtains, the floor with a thick shag carpet. Moss covers the ceiling. All right, guys, I'm going to stop here. Uh, I was up to 100 and some points, but then I lost it because I took a treasure off the wall to try to give it to the giant. You've or, crawled around in some little holes and so that I could passage. pass the bridge. All right. Well, guys, um, Colossal Cave, uh, Roberta Williams, Ken Williams, Cygnus Entertainment. Um, interesting game, challenging game, different game. It's not the typical thing that you would expect in today's gaming landscape, but that might be a good thing. Might be a good thing to have, you know, things be a little bit different at times. Black rod. There's nothing. And, uh, you know. I think you should give it a try. If you have the time, you know, apparently it works good on the Steam Deck. From what I understand, you can get it for uh, uh, the Switch, PC, Mac, almost every console. Uh, I think PlayStation as well, Xbox as well. So uh, definitely, wor definitely worth a try. Don't expect it to be easy. Old school games were never easy either. And that's the way it is. Guys, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, feel free to follow me on uh, YouTube at uh, ed.gamer and The Modern Boomers, where I do my podcast. Uh, maybe we'll play tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. Who knows? So, hope you guys... Hope you guys have a good day. Oh, I moved the camera. Didn't mean to do that. Have a good day, guys, and we will see you next time.